my former self. You see, just a regular old horse condo. Come on, I want to show you the greenhouse. It's a lot more interesting. Now, what interests me is the saga of Edmund Gray. I'd like to hear more. I could have been a jockey had I not grown too tall. You should have seen me ride. You took lessons? No. <laughs> no, my parents could barely spring for a ride on the merry-go-round. Well, then, how did you... Well, it... Lucinda Altagracia. My mother used to do lace work for her family. This was a very, very old, very, very rich land grant family. And they owned tons of horses and tons of land. And they had tons of daughters. And they all wore these exquisite lace dresses. And Lucinda was my age, closest to my age. Ah, uh, so Lucinda taught you. Mm, well, Lucinda taught me all right, but not how to ride. Miss Lucinda Altagracia was the most spoiled, rotten brat princess ever. I mean, this girl, she loved to taunt me about everything. She would, uh, she, she would trot her little pony over to our house, and she would bark out orders for Mama, and then she would make these rude cracks at me, and then she would trot her little pony home. And so, one night, when everybody was asleep, I rode my bike the 10 miles to the Alta Gracia Ranch, and I snuck into their stable, and I found Lucinda's pony, and I rode her for hours. I, mean, not the, I, I totally didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea what I was doing. But luckily, this pony was just the sweetest, most docile pony, and she never tried to throw me or anything like that. And, and so after a couple of weeks, I actually got the hang of it. But you rode her for weeks? No. <laughs> no, actually, I rode her for years. I, I started out with Lucinda's pony, and then I worked my way through that entire stable. And it, it wasn't long, actually, before I got to be a better rider than Lucinda. Unbelievable. <laughs> you just, you taught yourself how to ride. You just grabbed a saddle. No, no saddle. Bear back. Fierce little girl just riding through the moonlight bareback with her wind whipping through. Yes. <laughs> something, something like that, yeah. So you couldn't wait to get into the stables and I couldn't wait to get out. And we both got our wish. Did we? Well, yeah. I, you know, I still don't have horses, but I feel like a winner. You fought for your castle and you won it. I think, isn't that what fairy tales are all about? Happy endings? Yeah. Well, my happy ending cost me a lot more than I bargained for. But you didn't have anybody at that time to talk to? Nobody who understood? Yeah, I, I had somebody. But I traded her away for the truth. Brooke. I won the castle, but castles get kind of lonely. You know, there's a dining room in the East Wing that serves 400 people, but um, you go, always ate alone. There's a ballroom that's good enough for Marie Antoinette, but he rarely entertained there. There's stables here, they're always full of horses, but when you go rode, he always rode alone. And then he'd come back here and he'd talk to the horses. Like father, like son. Well, um... Actually, it's getting... It's getting kind of late. I, I really should go. You, I, I know I should have. Oh, you're obviously not afraid of the dark, and that's good because I got plenty of it. I am just a wreck of a man. I'm in and out of black moods, and I am not the cheeriest man. You could spend your time with a lot happier person. The thing is, I am just wildly attracted to you, and I have been ever since the first moment I saw your face. And tonight, more than ever. wrap my
myself up in you, Maria. And it's not just because you're beautiful. You make me laugh. You make me think. You make me, make me feel like I just woke up from a very long sleep. There's this fire in your eyes and it just draws me in. I haven't felt this way in a very, very long time. You do too. You make me feel all those things. They must have lowered a, a drawbridge over the moat because you're not alone in your kingdom tonight. A magnificent woman with fire in her eyes just rode in. They are back. I think you're intelligent, and I think you take my breath away. 